Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people that Niem are here with another card quest video. This is the second episode of our first fighter playthrough. We finished Old Town and the Alley Town with, uh, well, it was a little bit sketchy. Definitely doesn't feel as strong as Rogue, but it's capable enough. I did not upgrade to Berserker. I think the starting class is better and we upgraded our shield and sword. So that's pretty cool. Anyhow, I'm gonna go uh, on the top part, I guess. Uh, this one might be a little bit problematic though. Let me think. So I do struggle a little bit with uh, ranged enemies. So I'm a little bit worried about necromancers here. So maybe I go here instead. So this is not what I usually do, but I think this time we're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, let's not do ranged enemies yet until we have some tool to do them properly. Okay, let's go to the sewers here. Uh, yeah, it should be okay. Right. Entering sewers. The atmosphere in the sewers is humid and the smell is only a slight improvement compared to the surface. As you slowly progress through the dark corridors, unsure of your actual direction, you start hearing faint squeaky noises. Rats. Could they also have been infected by the undead plague? The noises get closer. Maybe going down here wasn't such a great idea. Okay, so here we are. We got a miasma cloud. Immune drains two and deals one every turn to anyone nearby. So we'll not be really able to avoid that since we don't have any ranged attacks. Okay, how about this hand? Sword hack four. Uh, rats form. Spawns four pale rats. One, two, three, four. So this will be able to spawn four enemies here. We do have one armor for the first uh, round in combat. Yeah, I'm. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like. I want my my armor thing. Let's let's find it. There we go. Defensive stance, really good for stamina regeneration and tactics regeneration, and yeah, pretty good. So this will make us uh, well invulnerable to all the enemies here, uh, which is really good. This thing this deals eight damage um, and draws a card. Costs quite a bit, but uh, that's fine. There we go. And now if there are any hidden enemies, they'll have nowhere to spawn. So that's, uh, I guess, another advantage of that. Let's take out this thing as well. There. And now if there are any hidden enemies, there'll be like only one of them. I like that idea. Okay, let's end the turn. I'm gonna pass up all of these. So warrior, I mean fighter, um, it's a little bit slower to play, but oh, this thing loses HP over time. Deals one damage to anyone nearby, including itself. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't really have much here, so I'm just gonna end the turn again. Plague Miasma. Oh, okay, so this thing is killing rats for me, which is super cool. And it killed itself. Uh, okay. Well, I don't mind that at all. Hello there, let's draw a card here. Stun that thing, because this thing is running out now. I'll well, we got a sword hack. Got a shield bash and we are done with this area. So yeah, definitely a little bit slower class than the rogue and the wizard and hunter. But uh, I like it. I think it's pretty strong. Anyhow, let's uh, mulligan again. Uh, mulligan once more. We are trying to get defensive stance. Once I have that up, I'm feeling pretty good. So, um, Sure. There we go. Yeah, it's very safe class, actually. Very, very safe class. Hello there. I'm gonna pass here. No dangers. Good. Hack something up. And the turn. Let's draw some cards here. Get some stamina back. And uh, finish off the fight. Good. Oh, this is a really good attack, though. That This one really hits the mark. 
Okay, we got a whole bunch of rot swarms here. Okay. Well, if you kill these, we'll be in a really good spot. Um, um, again, I would probably like my defensive things, so let's go and find it. <laughs> it's just so good. Like, yes, I used a lot of stamina to get it, but... But now we are basically in vanilla bro for a couple of turns. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they can attack all they want, but... That's not gonna help them, like, at all. There we go. Also, we get tactics per turn as well. Oh, this thing hits, like, how many times? <laughs> Three times, okay. Okay. No, I'm gonna need some cards, so. Okay, defensive stance again, so we are totally fine here. Pass, 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 pass. Parry, go. Okay, um, sure, there we go, and yeah, this is pretty much it, now it's just the matter of actually drawing the cards we need, I was a little bit worried there for a moment because I had like this sort of daddish hand and not much else to speak of, but I did draw into what I needed, so all good, all good. There we go. We'll see. We'll see against uh, the the main the main rat army here. Okay, pass so. Okay, another one of these. One of these, one of these. Yeah, I would like to finish this up if I can, but... There we go. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't know. We'll see if we're gonna get into fights, which will be way, way more dangerous. Okay, well, that's a fast defensive stance. I really like that. Probably don't need that just yet. Uh, no, maybe. So killing these is pretty good, right? Okay. Meek. Meek. Uh, making fun of the rats. Yeah, not cool. Not cool at all. Okay, let's see. Let's do a tactical idea here. Okay, shield bash, it's uh, kind of not the best. So I need to kill this, this rot swarm, basically. Uh, okay. Plague Miasma, there we go. Yeah, these things actually help us out. And now they're gonna lose one HP, and next turn they're gonna kill themselves, which is... Well, really good. <laughs> so the fights in which we have these miasmas actually last a little bit less than the other ones. There we go. Bye-bye. Okay, so you leave us with three rats. That's okay. Draw. Bam. Uh, and turn. Okay, let's get some stuff. Okay, tactical strike. Best way to finish the fight, I guess. Yeah, the tactical strike is amazingly strong and the the defensive stance is amazing as well. So I'm not going to take these anymore because, yeah. Master strategist, increase max by one. Okay, uh... I'm gonna take these holy symbols just in case the paladin class or whatever this will be will be much better. 
Okay, defense is strength from the get go, which is really good. Uh, let's do tactical idea here. Okay, this is eight damage, so these first. There we go. Then sword stab for twelve. Um, so this thing is a problem, right? Nothing else can pierce my defensive stance. He can though. But I think it's better to kill the rats form first. We're just gonna dodge out of him. There we go. Okay, pass on everything else. Okay, do that. Hack for damage. I don't know, doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, I don't think we're gonna need that. We got two more turns. In two turns, we can probably draw something useful. Let's stand that thing. Let's uh, actually let's kill it. Okay, draw some cards. There we go. Okay, and the turn. Okay, well, lucky enough, hidden enemies were not super strong or anything like that. It's so nice to get like seven things back. Yeah, let's go here. There we go. Any more hidden enemies? Maybe. I do have dodge and parry, so it's gonna be okay. Pass. Okay, now I need to get this thing up again. Good. And I think we are done here. Almost. I need one more attack, I guess. There we go. Okay, stab. Stabby, stabby. Okay. Stab. And another one. Yes, no, maybe, no how. Bam. Okay, well, it's really easy against normal enemies. <laughs> we'll see what else game can throw my way. Defensive stance, that's really good. Uh, okay, I can kill this thing, draw a card. Good. Okay, let's get some of that back. So now there's no room for anything to spawn, which is great. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Okay, let's just pass everything here. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> Get used to this. <laughs> it's like this. It's like how this class is played, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good, actually. There we go. Okay, now we have enough for tactical strike. This thing hits three times. Oof. Nasty. Nasty, nasty. Okay, let's go here. And now this thing needs to die. So let's do it. Okay, now we're just against the small ratty boys. Okay, I have one more turn of defenses here. It would be pretty cool if I can draw into another uh, protective stance here. I'm gonna feel much better if that happens. Um, so I can play tactical idea. Oh, there's the defensive stance. Okay, that's good. So yeah, GG. We can play it here again, and we are fine. Uh, let's try to draw some damage. I want to see if I kill this thing. What's hiding? Any hidden enemies? Yep, they are. This one works like for one turn, as a defensive stance for one turn if I need it, if I don't draw the other one on time. Okay, that's kind of nice. More hidden enemies, only one though, good. So it's all about if I can def draw a defensive stance on time with this deck, I guess. Okay, well I have one more turn of that, so... No problem, I guess. Just use our super expensive abilities. 
to kill all the ratty boys. And there we go, defensive stance again, no problem. There we go. Hack and slash, sword hack. And another sword hack, there we go. I could probably do this with the rusty sword and shield as well, but... Uh... Okay, now we got the Pale Rat Collective. Uh, stun immune, calls to Pale Rats into Giant Pale Rats into battle every turn. Francis a rat every turn, okay. Spawns four Pale Rats and four Giant Pale Rats upon that. Can detect hidden enemies. Okay, so this shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I just have to make sure I have my defensive thing up at all times and to be killing the rats that it Francis and should and everything else should be fine. Anyhow, let's get our defensive stance going. And I definitely want to kill that thing first. Okay. Pass, pass, pass. More rats arrive, okay. Rat Frenzy, okay. I pass that one. Well, actually, doesn't really matter, right? How many times are you attacking? Uh, so do I do dodge to draw a card here? You know what? Yeah, let's draw some cards. There we go. Because I need this thing back up before things become waivers. Okay, this is good. And also kills this dude, which has extra, extra attack. Okay, tactical idea is nice. So let's keep it. Okay, this is kind of good. Um, okay. More rats arrive, right? Rat frenzy. Okay. Uh, pass, 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 pass. Pass. Okay, sword stab, whole bunch of damage, let's go. Okay, let's draw some more. So I need this as fast as I can get it. There we go. Yeah, not really, <laughs> not really getting it. Okay. I mean, it should come any moment now. Any moment now, I have this as well, so it's not really... Okay, there we go. Uh, pass, 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 pass. Rod Frenzy, good, okay. Pass, 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 pass. Now this thing, I'm gonna dodge. Do I wanna drop a card here? That's a good question. This one maybe. There we go. And then another defensive stance. Now this thing needs to die because it has four attack. <laughs> Such a tactical class. I kind of like it though. Okay, let me cycle my dodges here. So basically I wanna draw cards here because um, I need to get, I have three turns to get into that card again, basically. So this one needs to be dodged this time. Pale Rat Collective. There we go. Okay, uh, Sword Stab, 8 damage. Well, I do have Tactical Strike again. Hmm. Oh, this is good if chained, actually. What if I do this? There, and now I chain it. Okay, and I'm gonna get some damage here. I'm not super upset about it or anything, but maybe it could have been avoided, but it's okay. I can gain some damage here. More rats arrive. Yes, of course they do. Red Frenzy, okay, that dude already acted, so that's fine. 
Okay, that's one damage, and well, we are almost done here, so it's gonna be okay. Um, okay, so two rats do damage now. Okay, don't need that anymore. Good. Let's see. Eight damage for six, sure. So if I can kill, so uh, spawns four pale rats and four giant pale rats. Okay, that really doesn't do anything. There we go. Rats everywhere! Oh no! <laughs> Not really, though, is it? Okay, stun that thing. And it's pretty much done. I already have my defensive stance in my hands. I killed all the... I disabled all the dudes that do extra damage, so... We are done here. Just need to draw what I need and well, wrap this one up, basically. Okay, well, maybe let's get rid of this one first. There we go. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Something, 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 something. I am... There's the king rat, something like that. So many rats. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's try to get some nice cards here. Oh, tactical strike, hello. Bam. Nice. I need so much patience when playing this deck. Like, definitely something else. <laughs> Leaving the sewers. After wandering for what seemed like hours lost in the sewers corridors, you finally end up in a different tunnel. It appears to lead into the city's catacombs. Suddenly see the faint light of a torch approaching in the distance. You hide in the shadows and watch as a group of wooded men pass by. Something fishy is going on in there. However, there's a ladder leading to the surface on the side, and the prospect of leaving this place is also quite tempting. Rosary. Okay. A rosary blessed with holy magic. Grants one holy at the start of every combat and increases your HP by two. Your stamina by one and your holy by one. Can be used to provide two holy heal for one, restore five, and grant two for a turn. Well... That sounds way better than the sausage, gonna tell you that much. Yep, <laughs> it's like in every way better than the sausage. Uh, the fighter has one out of three keys in the city. Collecting all three keys will allow you to restart the city from stage 4 instead of stage 1 when starting a new game with the fighter. Good. Now where? I got burnt down, catacombs height. So, hmm. Well, both... So, both burnt town and the high town are accessible from infested town and garrison. And then catacombs, well, catacombs, wait, what? Catacombs is only accessible from the sewers, so it would have to go catacombs here, right? If I want to finish this in three tries. Not, not that I'm saying I'm going to win on this first try, but I'll try. Yeah, so this thing is only accessible from the sewers, it seems like. Yeah, so let's go to catacombs. Uh, it's not too bad. No ranged enemies, so that's good. Entering catacombs, you quietly make your way down the tunnel, following the hooded man without being noticed. As you go deeper in the catacombs, you hear the distant whispers of some dark incantation. You reach a big circular room. Inside, cultists are gathered around a cauldron. Green smoke rises from it, finding its way to the surface and infecting the city with the undead plague. Intruder! Seize him. The cult leaders take the cauldron away while the cultists unsheath their daggers. This one might be a little bit uh, hard. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, now we're gonna start hitting enemies, which will not be able to to one-shot anymore. 
uh, which will not be able to like fully negate with the defensive stance. So that sounds a little bit scary to me. But uh, not much I can do about it, so. This one's pretty good though. And I'm gonna play these just to cycle here. To get to what I need faster. Okay, let's do this. Let's see what's in the tomb. Something emerges from the tomb. Okay, it's a ghast. And that's one nasty enemy if I were so one. I can stun it though. There we go. So that's good. Um, okay. I can whack it. I can do this. And then I can whack it once more. There we go. Could have killed both of them if I actually paid attention to what I'm doing. But that's obviously not my my forte. <laughs> now they are done anyway, so whatever. You unlocked the Paladin School. Well, this is really interesting to me because I have Rosary and I was taking Paladin upgrades. Level up. Select a perk. Uh... Expert blocking blocks cards. Block cards block an additional one. Hmm. Interesting. Increases regeneration by one. Okay, I'm definitely gonna take more stamina regeneration. I like that prospect. But this one's also pretty nice. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So with this, with this, I believe our. Bloodthirsty cards, yeah, you can make some nice, nice, uh, nice setups here. Anyhow, let's go with stamina regeneration. Paladin school. The holy school for those warriors that follow the path of faith. Paladins are protected by their faith and are able to heal wounds with their strong and righteous beliefs. Okay. Well, I kind of like the guardian school because of the defensive stance and uh, recovery dodge and tactical strike and tactical idea. These cards are like super good. So it has to be better than this. So let's see. Holy Aura, Chainbreaker, gain one, okay, or block one if already active, plus five stamina regeneration, and plus one whole regeneration for three turns, draw two cards, okay, that's, <laughs> really, plus five stamina regeneration, that's a little bit hard to miss, isn't it? Also draws two cards. Okay, this one's amazing. Not as good as defensive stance, but... Uh, okay. Precognition. Dodge and draw a card. Chain, draw a card. Okay. Well, we don't get stamina back, but we regenerate way more in, uh, in general, so it seems pretty good. Also draws two cards on chain, so these are amazing. These are amazing. I really like them. Uh, then we got Guardian Angel, Chain Breaker, Block 9, Recover, a Stamina, 12, Gain, Gain Holy, and Draw 2 cards. Okay, this is really good. I like it. <laughs> Guardian Angel. And then finally, Lay on Hands. Oh boy, is it what I think it is? Chain Breaker, Recover 2 HP. Oh, it's not gonna heal you to full. Ah, the good old days of World of Warcraft. Recover 2 HP, Heal Ailments, and Draw a card. Re decrease... Decrease, uh, okay, heal regeneration by one. Oof. Interesting. Plus five stamina regeneration, plus one whole regeneration, okay. So we'll be able to maybe do one of these per fight, but that's cool. Like recovering two HP is really expensive otherwise. Okay, I, I think this is just bonkers. I mean, we lose the tactical strike, but... Uh, we gained so much more. We got so we gained so much card draw actually. It's kind of insane. And we get we, we keep three dodges, which is really good. That's pretty uh, important to me. That we still have dodges and they are like uh, free. Guardian angel. Yeah. The only bad thing is losing the the, the tactical strike. So now it's going to become a little bit more tedious to kill anything, but. I think this is way better. Draws two cards. Oh my god, for free mana. Oh my god. Okay, definitely gonna equip the Paladin School here. 
now that I have part in school, I actually believe we might be able to to do it. Okay. Dodge and draw a card, chain, draw an additional card, block free and stun. Okay. So we can stun this one here and draw another card. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay. I guess let's uh, take care of the ghouls first. Doesn't really matter, does it? I can raise the shield if I need to chain break and get a two for one turn. Okay. Or block two, regenerate one less. Yeah, I don't know much about that. Yeah, let's draw some cards here. I mean, I have the resources. Okay, Guardian Angel. Block 9, recover 12. <laughs> this one's just... Like, so many broken things here. Sword hack. Recover 2 to fate and 5. Okay, no hidden enemies, right. Right, right, right. Um, block free, yeah, that's enough. Huh. There you go. <laughs> I'm saving Guardian Angel for, well, who knows what, but. Holy Aura, Chain Breaker, gain one, plus five, plus five stamina regeneration. Why is this so strong? I don't get it. Yeah, it's it's a little bit too strong. Okay, I well, don't need it right now, so So now I'm like like I'm regenerating like one million stamina, right? How many do I get? Like I have five now, <laughs> ten, and plus one from something else as well. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is a little bit crazy, isn't it? I mean, I should probably use Guardian Angel, right? Come on, who wins here? I don't know. I do. Hmm, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, uh, so let's see here. Right. This is a really good start with the Holy Aura. There we go. Now, there's some enemies which hit stronger than the others, so definitely... Need to take care of them first. Uh, there we go. Now this one. Kills. Do we have any more whites? We do. There we go. Okay. We can stun this one. So now I have already two armor. So I don't have to do anything else here. Not that I have stamina to do it anyway. So. Okay, pass, 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 and hidden enemies. No. Okay. I'm cool with that. Uh, okay, kill that thing. Uh... There we go. I want to draw some cards, that's why I played that. Okay. Another card. Another card. Uh, psh. Another card. There we go. Four. Let's give a cultist. Well, I do have... Oh, no. I don't have another free turn here. Okay. I need to start, like, blocking. Blocking because, yeah. Wah, wah. No problem though. 
Okay. Hack. Hack. There we go. <laughs> I'm saving my guardian angel like my life depended on it. And it's not, not really. Oh, right. This will spawn the white. Okay, we can stun it though. Good. I guess it's time. The time has come to play my guardian angel. Okay. Hack. Hack. Um. Hack. White. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I don't know. This deck is bonkers. Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling really good here. Okay, now I just need... There we go. Exactly that. What is this? <laughs> Uh, we start with four fate. Starts between zero and one every battle. Well, we get some bonus. Uh, oh, this will kill that thing if I play this and that, right? This and that. Problem is, problem is, I don't have. Well, I can do raise shield here. Gain two for one turn. Yeah, that's pretty alright. I can just go for my guardian instead. I think it's better for, to go for uh, for the guardian tank. Okay. Now let's drop that and that and draw some cards. I didn't get it though. Okay, let's stun that thing. Okay, let's kill that thing. Now we have like a million dorges at least. Okay, that's good. Okay. There we go. Holy aura. Uh, Chainbreaker again, one armor. So this should give me the effect, right? Yep, it will. There we go. Good. Okay, dispose of that one. Draw. Recover two heal ailments and draw a card. Decrease regeneration by one. Well, I don't want to play that. Although it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Let's keep this one stunned, I guess. Kill that one. Good. I don't need to pray yet. I'm too strong to need to pray. Okay, so we have another aura ready if we need it. I can probably like start working on this one as well, the white. Okay, there we go. It's only two enemies left, so if I can draw some dodges here. Okay, this draws two cards. Uh, I have everything I need. go let's kill one of them and now let's see what's in the tomb i'm very very curious now this is just too strong like that's insanely strong uh, it's not even interesting here you find a relic inside <laughs> heals all aimants and gives holy right okay 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 game i see how it is this should only be for the fight, right? The the holy regeneration. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Ah, sorry, need to sneeze. Okay. So far, so good. I'm enjoying this new paladin class. Um, Charge! Oh, really? Block free, stun, and weaken. Um, 
Well, this will solve the problem. However, then I don't need, don't have what I need, right? I need my thing. Do I? Maybe don't. How do we take care of that one, though? I'm gonna get damaged there. Nah, let's just play it out here. Okay, kill this one. Bash that one. Kill. Two, two. Mm. Damage and contact one, right. Yeah, I know what. Uh, let's kill that one. Okay, lay on hands. Well, we can get damage and contact that, right. Uh, so I'm gonna block you with the Guardian Angel. There we go. I'm gonna... You have Fury, so we're gonna do that. Okay. And... Um, there we go. So I didn't even need the thing. Uh, four damage. Four damage. Oh, that's enough for this dude here. There we go. Let's draw a card, let's do that. Uh, let's do Holy Aura. Oh, that draws two cards, whoops. Let's do this. We lose one HP, but hey, it's okay. Um, I probably wanna do this, right? Okay. Shield bash this thing. I have two armor now. Which is pretty good, actually. This was the second turn, now we go down to one, okay. Um, hmm. Well, this, this draws two cards. I could do this. Just to like... Oh, that also draw, draw, drew a card? There you go. So do this, do that, do that. Get okay. Time to stab. All right. They spawn the crawlers, the crawly crawlers. Okay, it refreshes. Ah. That's pretty good, actually. Guardian Angel to Okay, do that. Yeah, this 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 is ridiculous. Like it really is. There's no other way to put it. I mean we're a little bit weak at the start of the fight, especially if they're like chargers and we're a little bit weak to range the enemies and stuff, but in melee. Okay, so we got some necros here. Someone's a revenant each turn. Okay, so I really need my two armor here. And I need these to come close so I can take care of them. And they have nowhere to spawn the revenant, so that's also fine. But yeah, I want my holy aura here. There we go. And I, I can raise the shield if I want to. So I can block everything. That might not be the worst idea, actually. I mean, we're gonna regenerate one less, one less, but we're already regenerating so much that it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, so basically now we are safe. We have four armor, so. Um, <laughs> you know what? I would like to draw some cards. Okay, pass, 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 pass. Now, do we draw two cards here? I feel like it. Yeah, sure, let's draw two cards. No, just one, okay, because, yeah. Okay, so this deals four damage, this deals 12. So this kills a necro if I do it. Okay. 
chain. This always draws a card, though. I would like some card draw here instead. Um... Uh, Okay, so I can parry the Necromancer and everything else is fine for now anyway. I can also Guardian Angel the Necromancer. I think it's a good turn to like, good moment to do the Guardian Angel. I can against some nice stamina, there we go. I feel blessed, okay. Now, Necromancer is kind of important to kill. I can do this, so we are fine for another turn. I can do it next turn as well and just do something with Necro. I can shoot parry the Necro, right? But let's uh, let's go for Necro here, like that. Uh. There. Okay, so Necromancer is dead. So now whatever we kill stays dead, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm a little bit bad with my stamina though. This was not really good. Okay, I'm gonna use Rosary now because I messed up. There we go. Yeah, that was a big mistake. It's opening. Oh no, something emerges. It's Ghast. Okay. So Ghast is like a priority here. Um, okay, if I raise that, we're going to be fine for another turn. Okay, I definitely want to draw some cards now, though. Um, probably fine cards now. Let's see what we can draw here. So this kills the Revenant. I can also kill one of these. So we do that and that. That's probably better, right? Okay, let's do that. Holy Aura, sure. Yeah, this thing draws two cards, which is pretty good. Okay. Maybe let's remove the enemy. If we go down to three, we are probably like super fine. Uh, I'm out of stamina again. What am I doing? There we go. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> not playing the best here. Um, if I play this, I'm safe. So let's do... Mm, well, except him. But I have shield parry, right? Okay. Okay, well, I can bash it and then hack it. No, I can't hack it. I can hack it now. That's not going to kill it, though. I'll have another sh raised shield, which guarantees my safety next turn. There we go. Like that. There we go. Uh, let's draw some cards here. Good. Okay, now we kill the ghoul. <laughs> yeah, you need so much patience with this deck. Like, a lot of patience. Whoops. That did not do what I wanted it to do. Okay. That did not go well at all. 
There we go. Yeah, that's good. There. Okay, let's do that. Let's raise the shield. Okay. <laughs> it should be fine now. Well, there is one more thing in a tomb though, so... But it's okay, I believe. There you go. <laughs> okay. Come on, gift cards, gift cards. Go for that. Guardian Angel. Yeah, I'm just using Guardian Angel really nearly, I guess, but. Yeah, I should start using my good card. Like, I, I'm just saving them. Like, getting in all kinds of weird spots because of saving them. And, like, there's really no reason to do it. So now I want to kill that thing, right? There we go. You find a relic inside. Great. Another one. Uh, I wonder if there's like a bigger chance to find relics if you're playing... Uh, if you're playing the paladin. Good. Okay, well, we somehow slittered our way through that, but now we're fighting the boss without the rosary, so... I can say I'm super happy about that. Increases max by 4, increases max by 1. I don't think I care. Gain 1 armor for the first 2 turns of every battle. That one seems interesting. We just go four more on HP front. Let's go a little bit more armor here. Oh yeah, this is the fight. Oh boy. Has a high chance to cause confusion every turn. It's able to find hidden heroes. Distant poisoned attack. Okay. Um... Right. What does this do? Deals one and drains two to nearby heroes any, every turn. Okay, well, I definitely want to get rid of that thing. Okay, holy aura. Messed up that one. A guardian angel. So there will be some nasty hidden enemies here, so... Um, stun immune, stun immune, okay. Select a defensive card. It's only 2 damage though, but what is this? I mean, it's only 2 damage. So, take miasma, yeah, that's annoying. What can you do? Confusion. Oh, that's really bad. This is such a nasty fight. Um, okay. <laughs> so I want to kill this thing, but I also need to kill the, the, the other dudes. Oh, these two are not stun immune. Okay, this one's getting stunned, that's for sure. I believe this one spawns the white when it dies. Maybe I should just kill this one. Sure, right? And we just take one damage per turn for a bit. I think so. So you can't touch me, okay, you can't touch me, okay, you don't do anything, you will take me some of my resources, that's fine. Uh, do I want to cast this so early? Probably not, right? Okay, now this thing would be amazing if it dies. 
Okay, so that's one threat less. But now I also have way less armor, so... This one we can stun. So hopefully we draw a stun. 8 damage, 8 damage. This thing has 1 dodge. Uh, so this one turns into a super white, white which is like so annoying. I'm not sure if I can kill this thing. I can shield parry this one and keep it stunned, so that's okay. Yeah, I don't have like a weak attack that I can remove the dodge from it. So maybe play Cauldron. Yeah, seems like that's gonna be the play. Okay, I can raise the shield here. That's gonna be good. Then only this thing can hit me. Maybe next turn. Hmm. No, let's do it this turn. There we go. Okay, another race shield. Good. Okay, you can't touch me. You can't touch me. Yeah. You're just annoying, but what can you do? No. Do that. Uh, do that. Okay, cool. 12. Um, can I cast both of these? No. So if I want to raise shield here, I can't attack the cauldron. Mm. There. Well, I can do this now, I guess. There we go. Gonna get a little poisoned here, but... So I have three now, so I can pass that. I can pass that. Okay, Plague Miasma. Okay, Precognition. Okay, nice, Guardian Angel. That's good. Should have dropped that, maybe. But okay. Uh, that one came in. Nice. Okay, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's draw some cards. Okay, I can kill the cauldron now. Well, almost. No, I can kill it. Good. You're gonna be mad because I destroyed your cauldron? Not? Okay. Mm. Okay, we stun this one. Oh, wait, what? Why didn't that stun? Free damage. H. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, I think it's time to remove the ailments and heal. Good. Now, I really don't want to get hit by this dude again. So I'll need like two dodges at least per turn. Why didn't we stun this dude? It's immune to stun, maybe? Definitely the next one to die, though. No, it's not immune to the stun, okay. Hmm. Okay. Holy aura, it's really good, but I need like space to draw some defenses. I have two more turns of holy aura anyways, so. Okay, I can just pop this now and be finished. No, this dude will hit me anyway, so that's just a waste of stamina, I believe. Okay, 
of that. Do that. Five. Yeah, it's such a hard fight for, for this class, but we have the tools. We have the tools. There you go. 12. Sure, let's get rid of one of them. So now, which one next? Ah, if I do this one, I didn't really do anything, really. So I need to kill this one next, I believe. Okay, blocks for two, that's not enough, I'll have to do this, there we go. So basically, I'll do that, there we go. Yeah, let's, let's try, let's try. Eight. Not too bad. I can do this. It keeps me safe, right? There you go. Draw a card. So we need another strong, strong turn against this dude here. Hmm. I only have two dodges though. I might draw into another one. I let hard door here. Okay, that's good. I'm probably not gonna be able to play that one anymore though. Can I weaken this thing? Oh, I can. Okay, that's good. Um, uh, actually. If you get a whole bunch of stamina here, we might be able to go through him yet again. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Draw. Do that. Yeah, I need some more attacks here. Okay, that's good. So now this deals 12 damage. So we're almost done on this one. Once this one falls, we're gonna be golden. Okay, four more damage though. Okay, I can raise shield here. That buys me basically an extra turn. Good. Now, another sword hack into that thing would pretty much be amazing, but... Okay, let's bury this one. Okay, do this. And do this. Okay, there we go. So this one's that. Okay, nice. Uh, so now we just need like block <laughs> and we didn't get it. Okay, this will draw two cards though. There we go. Okay. Nice. Drop that. Okay, I do have my dodge, so it's okay. Cult is that master. The that master. Okay. Now, I want to be red, as ready for white as I can be. Okay, that was a misplay maybe, but... There we go. Yeah, not yet, not yet. Block. Let's get our stamina back. Let's get this thing up if I can. Before we do, before we push it. Yeah, let's get that thing up before we push it. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, let's just play it safe here. There's really no reason to lose now. There we go. Holy aura, nice. Another one. Okay. Now let's push it and let's see what's up. The cultist comes back to life. White that master. 
Stun immune, leaps from distance, poison attack, fury one, regeneration two. Yeah, this thing is annoying. Like super annoying. Okay, so I need, I need, what do I need? Well, I need everything. I don't want to use this sword stab. <laughs> My hand is like full of useful things though. Okay, let's start with this thing. Okay. I could play this. We would go up to three, so that's like uh, a really good safety net if we need it. Okay, so that's 12 damage. Okay. Bam. Yeah, now. That's good. Okay. Dodge. Uh, does this work? Yeah, it does. Good. Yeah, we are also reducing its damage output, which is cool. Okay, we have an opportunity to do some damage here, so let's do it. Oh, even more. Sure. Sure, no problem. Uh, there. <laughs> what a crazy fight. <laughs> you really have to play it like super safe here. Okay, let's do all right. Uh, do that, do that, do that. Come on, need attacks. Do I have enough to cast both? I do. Good. I'm almost dead. Yeah. Okay, that's one attack. I need one more. Okay, let's see. Let's drop this. And... Yeah, if I don't draw attack, I draw something that's gonna defend me, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Done here. Took us only ages to do it, but... <laughs> uh, living Catacombs. Probably the toughest fight. The last fight will be easier, I believe. Living Catacombs. You have destroyed the source of the plague, but as you're about to step out of the room, a dying cultist taunts you. Ha! <laughs> Do you really think this is over? Our master controls the undead from the cathedral. The plague was only the beginning. He has infiltrated the highest spheres of the state, and his plans cannot be stopped. Leaving the dying man behind, you you vow to reach the cathedral and stop this master. From the catacombs, two paths can leak there. Can leave there. Okay, we got Holy Shield. Okay, cool. So we got Shield Parry right now. And then Holy Shield still has two Shield Parries. Wait, what? This is like very, very similar. Okay, instead of Shield Parry, we get another... We get a little bit better through block. Block 6, stun. And we can, for two, for two turns, for two turns, okay, generate Holy and draw a card. Chain costs minus one. Okay, so this thing always draws a card, which I really like. So for one more stamina, you get something way better. So this is definitely better than Shield Parry. And then we get Shield of Light instead of Shield Bash. Shield Bash, really expensive. I didn't really use it a lot. It stuns, weakens for one turn. No, for three turns. Draws a card. Okay, weakens pretty good. Oh, really? Shield of Light, undodgeable, deal two and make enemies unaware. Um, yes, please. Description, uh, a finely crafted shield that belonged to a long dead paladin. Uh, it possesses a faint holy glow that can increase its strength to a powerful flash of blinding light if the one who is holding it is strong of faith. Right. I mean, it's not that expensive, only too, too holy. We usually <laughs> float around a lot of holies, so making enemies unaware is just like bonkers. It says make enemies unaware, so everyone gets unaware. If that's true, well, even one is pretty strong, but all of them? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> um, 
yeah, definitely gonna take that. Way better than uh, well making stunning one enemy. Okay, cool. Let's equip the holy shield then. We are a proper paladin now. But anyhow, <laughs> we're gonna continue the next one. Um, yeah, I love paladin. Uh, I think it's really strong. I mean, the fighter, the fighter paladin. It seems very strong and we didn't even see like a lot of things. So this fight in catacombs really showed off how how powerful it is. Like even though we were not able to like nook down the enemies with so few items. I, I don't think I ever before did catacombs with so few items. Like those four things and the cauldron, like so annoying, right? Really powerful. Anyhow, I'm enjoying this a lot. Um, I'm glad I took this as the last class. I really do. So if you're enjoying it as well, some likes and subscriptions would be amazing. In the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do something nice. Uh, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Neomer signing out. Bye-bye.